Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Your host, the Raven, here uh, with the next section of my plans for my zombies ate my neighbor's uh, playthrough. Last I left off, I was in the castle, and I said I want to play ahead so I can get some familiarity with the levels. And I'm gonna turn the sound down because, like, the castle music is pretty loud. But yeah, I, so I played a couple levels ahead uh, just to get familiar with the levels because at this point in the game, uh, if you don't know where the victims are, if you don't know where to go, you're pretty much guaranteed to lose. Um, the vampires don't dive, they peg you from long distance, they can teleport onto, survi onto survivors and kill them before you can even get to them. I mean, so you have to know exactly where you're going. And as you can see, that pile of bat, those, those four bats represent a vampire already on my case. You know, and I just started the level. So anyway, let's get to it. I recommend using clowns on the vampires. Just to keep the, you know, you can't kill them. Don't even try to kill a vampire. Just leave the clowns to distract them. I'm trying to select my weed whacker here. And just follow this path. Um, there's an ancient artifact up here. Make sure you collect those Pandora's boxes. We're skipping that weed eater. Why? Because there's another one later on. And just drop clowns as you see fit. Because I'm telling you, they'll, they'll be on you like white on rice, man. I'm telling you, the vampires, they're undefeatable. And they're the, they're the worst enemy in the game. I don't care about the wormoids that people talk about. And I'm at a clown, so that means you're going to be here pretty soon. I don't care about the clowns people talk about. Uh, I mean, not clowns, but wormoids, Frankenstein, Chainsaw Maniac. I mean, they ain't got nothing on a vampire. Absolutely nothing. Werewolves, they ain't got nothing on a vampire. And keep your ancient artifact ready for this Frankenstein. If you don't have it already, you'll take a hit from his electricity. So make sure you have that equipped already. And now switch back to the weed eater. And just leave clowns. And sometimes the vampires don't go for the clowns. That can make it difficult also. And there's a vampire circling that lady that's in the room. I'm trying to get him to come down here so I won't lose a victim, I swear. See, that vampire there is just waiting on me. Uh, and that was pretty cheap and it's like they ate the clown I left in like one second and then went over there to hit me with a vampire bat now the next stage you fought you you start off in a pit with a wormoid uh, which is another butthole um that think they're the second most irritating enemies and I better take a bend kit and what I'm gonna do is uh, use a soda Because I have a lot of it. If I can get a score of hits.
It takes like 50 sodas. And sometimes the button won't let me throw them. Like, I don't know what that's going on with that. Remember to switch off med kits. I don't want to accidentally hit the button and use a med kit. That's like the worst thing you can do. Where man, and then it's like they're not counting the soda hits. It's like, come on now. It's like, okay, how'd I get hit? It like, wasn't even near me. Uh, this is going pretty bad. i just trying to save my bazooka shots. Because there'll, there'll be worse situations than this wormoid. I wish the soda would come out faster. Almost got lit. All right, there we go. There's a warm asshole. Uh, okay, now the rest of this level. Um, I don't want to use ancient artifact. I, it, that would make it easier, but I'm gonna stick to. I'm gonna try to go through it with the fire extinguisher. I, and you have to follow this path exactly. I mean, because anywhere else you go, you're just going to get like swarmed over with uh, monsters. Save our first victim. And don't stop for nothing, man. Wow, I got bazookas from a random door. That's pretty good. Okay, it sucks. Okay, I'm taking hits. Alright, why not jump in the water? It's like, you know, and then it's like you know you getting stuck on obstacles and stuff like that you know it doesn't make any sense Alright, avoided death <laughs> just at the last minute there. And I don't want to have to use a med kit, so um, I'm going to try to use a mystery potion and hopefully it'll give me some more health. And then there's a use another useless password. Oh, okay, this is the alien one. Okay, I thought this was a spike level, which hate that level. Alright, this level you need a bazooka. And stay on the move because those jelly blob guys will make mincemeat out of you. 
I'm gonna try to get some health out of this mystery potion. No, I got speed. That sucks. That's the last thing I want is speed. Okay, and I just lost a life. I guess it gave me more speed. It's like I don't need speed. Oh well. Well, I'm back on two lives and uh, what's my call it? There's a Martian ray gun. I'm right, trying to find a trampoline girl. She's she's so far she's the only person I've seen that's immune to like almost every monster. I've never seen her get killed. Like even this even in this alien level, she won't get killed. I could leave her there, but I don't want to backtrack. And I got a one up and lost the life, so take that how you want it. And somebody said that the tomatoes make the Martians like stop spawning as fast, but so far that I've seen it doesn't do anything but kill them. Oh, shh. Let me get in this house. Damn it. I wasn't fast enough. Well, I lost a victim there. I almost want to start over, but oh well. And I hate the way they can teleport inside the walls. It's like that. You know, one thing I hate about this game is that like, monsters can, like, go through barriers and stuff that you can't. Okay, spikes. Spikes. Forgot this level. There's werewolves, so you want some silverware. And there's also, uh. Oh, I didn't get that monster potion out of the other level. Dang it. Yes. Take that. Okay, I only got one more victim. Okay, with the silverware not working, what the fuck? They're being cheap, like constantly spawning the werewolves. It's like, dang, like infinite supply of werewolves, isn't it? Alright, ran through the door real quick. Which is a pretty cheap level there. I hate that level. 
it's like in a constant spawn of werewolves like doesn't make any sense like as soon as you kill one another one appears like that's extremely cheap I don't know okay now this is a toxic dump site but it's mostly um it's mostly like the toxic goos and mermen that's what it seems to me um but anyway stay tuned for the next section uh because like those three levels I practiced a little bit so I could get through them without dying on camera uh, level this level and the the next three stages after that I'm not so familiar with and I only have like two med kits and like two lives so I mean I have plenty of items and stuff but you know two med kits isn't a lot and I'm trying to save up as you see on the pause screen I have 15 Pandora's boxes so I'm trying to save up all those and plus I have three monster potions for the final boss because you, you have to fight like a couple more bosses before the end of the game so anyway, I'm your host, The Raven. Stay tuned for more uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors action. Uh, I'm going to try to make the next video be the finale of this series. I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good day.